So, after 10 grueling events that is called the decathlon. Over finally, two days, mind you. Yep, over two days, you finally have your medal winners and Tejaswin Shankar, upon whom a lot of expectations were that he could win gold in the Asian Games, he has settled for silver in the decathlon event. And, and it was frustrating as well as uh, joyful and we'll get to why because if you're looking at how it is, if you break it down event by event, uh, you would realize that Tejaswin actually had a great chance of getting gold. In fact, he was ahead after the first day, after the first five events. He continued to stay ahead thereafter. But I think it was the last two or three events was where uh, the slump began as far as his point scoring was concerned. And that is why he's had to settle for a silver medal in this event rather than the gold that many expected him to win. Win. So, I'll give you an exact breakup as to, whoa, the lights have gone out and that's how our hopes have also been extinguished because of Tejaswin Shankar's silver medal. But okay. This is how the overall medals tally is at this point in time. And if you break down the event, how it is, there are 10 events. That's why it's called decathlon. Okay. 100 meters, long jump, short put, high jump, 400 meters, 110 meters, discus throw, pole vault, javelin throw, 1500 meters. That is how this current situation is at this point. So, this was how Tejaswin Shankar's breakup was. 100 meters on day one, he started off with 834 points as he got the fourth position. So he started in fourth position. Then, because he had a tremendous long jump, and remember, there's been a very interesting statement that was there on, uh, on long jump. Remember, Tejaswin Shankar made a statement that maybe it could be his last long jump in Paris. 903, first position, he went first overall. Yeah. Short put, had a terrible time in short put with 691 points, slid to 5th. Finished 5th, slid to 5th. Then, high jump, 400 meters, he just dominated in that and that's why he went to 1st position. Again. 110 meters, 876 points, 5th position, but he held on to the top spot. Mm. Discus throw, 650, 3rd position, he remained 1st. Remain so, 7 events done at this point, he is still at the top, Tejaswin Shankar. But remember, today, he had to play in three more events and that is where his problems arose. First off at the pole vault event, whereby the problem started, he ended up finishing. Sixth. Yeah, and thereby ended up sliding into second overall. Yep. But I think the worst was to come in the javelin event because again, everyone knew going in that javelin was his weakest point. His <coughs> personal best of this season was nowhere close to the kind of timings that many were putting out. And so he needed to either outdo yeah. himself considerably or hope to mitigate the damage. Well, he ended up finishing second last in the yes. javelin. And because of that fifth position, he now had to overcome a massive 300 point deficit that he had against his Chinese opponent. Which meant that he not only had to win the 1500 meters, but also hoped that his Chinese rival would finish lower than a certain position, which meant fifth position or lower and the Chinese opponent would have been not assured of a goal. But unfortunately, Tejaswin Shankar could only manage a fourth position and that is why he finished second in the overall decathlon event. Which means that yet another silver medal has come in athletics for Teja Swin Shankar at this point in time. So, it's kind of a bittersweet moment but it's also disappointing also because remember one thing, until event number 7, he was which ahead. was day 2, he, he was, was ahead. on top, had a lead of 91 points but unfortunately the lead was not that big enough. To give him the cushion, supposing he had a disastrous 1500 meters also. Mm. And since it was the last event, everybody was drained. Yeah, you saw towards the end, like once there were people who crossed the line who just fell flat on the racetrack. It's, yep. It is exhausting. Let's not kid ourselves. Decathlon is probably one of the hardest. Decathlon, heptathlon are tough. Why? Because you're not just focused on one event. You're focused on multiple events yes. over the course of a couple of days. It is not easy on your body. It will leave you exhausted. Exactly. And remember, this are, these are different track field disciplines. I mean, once again, if I have to look at the list, 100 meters, then long jump, different thing altogether. Short put, different. High jump, different. 400 meters, 110 meters hurdles. 110 meter hurdles, a different dynamic altogether. Exactly. Pole vault, very different. Javelin, incredibly di different. 1500 meters can combine at 400 meters, but the stamina and the energy factor is too much in that. So, that's why Exactly. So, no, taking nothing away from the Jasmine Shankar, by the way, great, great medal to win. Because again, decathlon, I think this is the first medal India won in decathlon in a while. Yes, and remember, even again, why do I point out that the Asian Athletics Championships is your good yardstick? 
he did well even in the Asian Athletics Championship. In the decathlon, just finished yeah. in decathlon. And remember, he said like perhaps long jump would be his last. He really wants to focus on all these endurance kind of events, and that's why. Kudos to Tejaswin Shankar for trying something out of his comfort zone. But at this point in time, seven events you are ahead, losing out on the last three. It, it is a bit heartbreaking. No two ways about it. Yeah, it is heartbreaking. But why are we feeling disappointed? We are not. We should celebrate the fact that it is silver. But because we expect our athletes nowadays to perform, and we expect the performance also because of their world beating that has happened previously. Well. Exactly. This is not expectations that are coming out of the blue. We know what the Jashwant Shankar is capable of. The Jashwant Shankar knows what he is capable of. And again, after leading the first seven events, he would have thought, okay, if not guaranteed, then at least I put myself in a good position. Unfortunately, the pole vault yeah. and the javelin, javelin, those were the two events that two kind of did him in. And javelin was always going to be his weak point. Everyone knew it. So it really was a case of getting enough buffer to paper over that weakness. Yeah. Didn't happen. But can't take anything away. Fun a silver fact, medal. Fun fact: Even in the Asian Athletics Championship, Tejaswin Shankar in uh, Tejaswin Shankar, he actually struggled in javelin. Yeah, javelin is his weak point. It's a well accepted fact yep. at this point. So, can he get tips from Neeraj Chopra in the near future? Let's see. But there is one more medal which has come amidst all of this. That. Not Abdullah Abu Abu Bakar, but Praveen Chitravel exactly. in the triple jump has gotten the bronze medal. Exactly. So India's medal tally has swelled. We I think we should be nearing 70 at this Don't point. Don't forget you have Anu Rani as well. Currently Who's at currently this leading. point in time, after three javelin throws, is leading the women's javelin event as well. So what a time to throw a season's best as well. So right from Parul Chaudhary with the gold, Praveen Chitravel with the bronze, and now Tejaswin Shankar with silver. Athletics continues to dominate India in all the medal aspects at this point in time. Maybe you can get two more medals by the end because remember Anu Rani. That's about it. And I think there's one more event after this. I think this boxing as well. Remember, you can get uh, not get a medal. You can get it's guaranteed a of a medal. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Narendra in the 92 kilos. He's yes. there in the semi-finals. But I think Sachin is there in the, the quarter-finals. Quarter yeah. But if he gets the semis, one more medal assured for us. Remember, only Parveen oh. Huda and Lovlina Borgoyne in the women. If Narendra gets through the, in the final, he's uh, contention for gold as well. Sachin, if he gets it, four more medals in boxing, almost assured. So Sachin lost. Oh, that's the latest update. Sachin's loss. So his medal hopes are not there anymore. Yeah. Only Narendra is there at this point in time. So three medals at this point. Let's see how it goes. But thank you so much, folks, for joining us for this live. We'll be back with more updates on sports today. Tap that bell icon so you know when we go live, and don't forget to download Sports the mobile app for all the information you need in English and Hindi. But One last event coming up. Let's see if India can win a medal in that as well. Bye bye. bye.